What's up everybody? Welcome to my review of the new Lego Star Wars mechs that came out on August 1st. They are $16 a piece and what we're going to talk about is are they worth that? Let's get into it. All three of the mechs retail for $15.99 or $16 here in the U.S. Starting with Vader, it comes with 139 pieces which is about 11 and a half cents per piece. It's got some pretty cool box art. It looks like they're on Mustafar as far as I can tell. And here's a look at the main support piece for the upper half. Definitely a specific mold for the mechs. I'm not sure what else they would even use it in. I like the armor plating on the shoulders, the wrists, the legs. It gives a smooth look and the feet are okay on Vader. My favorite piece is that 2x2 two two printed tile on the chest armor. Inside with these mechs, they stand versus sit like some of the previous Marvel mechs that came with a specific mold to sit in. Fingers move, but the thumbs do not. This is the first time I've seen where the thumbs do not move, but I think the thumbs actually look really cool on these mechs. I like the slight gray and the dark red that they mix in to cut up all the black for Vader. It definitely adds to the color scheme. The right hand holds a large lightsaber, but you can remove it if you choose. On the back side, they gave a little extra effort with this black piece, which also has two vertical grip pieces so you can clip in Vader's lightsaber. The downside is the waist. It does not rotate like the previous Marvel mechs such as Hulk and Thanos, and the arm and leg posability is limited, if not really not much at all. The Vader figure is the same one we've had in a few sets, but it is still a great looking Vader. If someone is looking to get a Vader, this is the way to go. The white face with the scarring on the front and the back looks really cool. The arm and leg printing are nice. The torso and the legs look great as well. Not much going on on the back side but who cares since he has the cape okay moving on over to the stormtrooper again $16 comes with 138 pieces which equates to about 11.16 cents per piece the box art is clean again looks like the stormtrooper is on the destroyer possibly the overall color scheme is fine obviously it's white it's a stormtrooper a fair amount of light gray and black offset some of that white the empire chest plate 2x2 two two printed tile is sick looking on this one in my opinion the inside is just the same as vader and bobo with the stormtrooper being able to stand up they did did their best to make the arms bulky for the armor but i'm not a fan of this armor on top of their hands on the gloves the fingers are fine to me they grip around the gun but once again that thumb does not move but i do think the thumb actually looks good the right arm holds the blaster that comes with a scope and a stud shooter which you can remove from their hand the legs are fairly detailed with a different style than the other two mechs and the boots look pretty good to me on this one i think the back side is lacking the most out of three is really plain showing off that one main support piece on to the minifigure the stormtrooper outfit is nothing new we've had it as recent as the trash compactor diorama it was the same one that luke and han had and it does come with a female head which i think looks really good i think all the armor detail is well done from the chest down to the knees even the back has decent detail oddly my favorite part is probably the inside of the helmet with the black rim i think that makes it look really cool and gives like a dark look around the shoulders hey if you like this review make sure you smash that like button subscribe to my channel let's get back all right moving on to everybody's favorite boba fett comes with 155 pieces which is about 10.3 cents per piece which is cheaper than the other two the best bang for your buck Personal Personally, Boba is my favorite after building it. It comes with a ton of color. The chest plate 2x2 two two tile is really detailed and makes it look nice. I feel like they really focus in on the bringing in the details with that brown belt and the yellow knee pads and shoulder pads on Boba. The side of the legs are a bit plain, but they are pants, so you can't expect a whole lot, I suppose. The boots are neat, almost like spurs on the front. The arms look okay. They tried to make them bulky to represent the armor, but, you know, I would love if they had printed the Mythosaur. That would have been awesome. The blaster is really cool, including a scope and a stud shooter, just like the Stormtrooper. Under the wrist, they have what I think are flamethrowers which is awesome but it should be on the top of his wrist not the bottom he does come with two vertical grip pieces one on each side of his hips for the blaster saving the best for last i think they did a great job with his jetpack using a good amount of color the flicker missile looks cool and shoots pretty good as well onto the figure this is the best figure the fig comes with a new face print that looks really good with his scarring on the front and the back i think they did a phenomenal job with the head this version brings the return of the jedi look it looks amazing with the banged up helmet and antenna he comes with a standard blaster we've seen it many times the dual molded arms all the way to the wrist look really good and i love that mythosaur print on the arm pauldron the armor printing on the chest is very detailed even the belt the legs are full of detail as well the back has good armor details too which you can cover up with the same jetpack we've had the one downside is they should have had boba fett's cape if they're going to give the cape to vader boba fett should have had his cape in my opinion this boba fett fig is my favorite boba to date i love this one i think they did a really good job the boba fett mech is the best one hands down one thing about the Star Wars mechs, I think these being the first ones are going to make them very collectible. Obviously, Boba Fett, Vader, and a Stormtrooper are very solid picks for their first time. Another thing in general for all three of these sets, they average about 40 to 50 more pieces than any of the Marvel sets, yet the size is just the same. They're just hiding them with tiny pieces, which to me is deceiving. Still, they're pretty cool looking sets, and there's only so much they can really do. So are these sets worth $16? In my opinion, no. No, they are not. 
They're okay looking sets. They're cool to display, but they're not really something to play with, in my opinion. They fall apart as far as I'm concerned. They're kind of flimsy. The arms fall off pretty easy if you knock one over. At least I found that out. If you're the tight like me and you want it when it comes out, go ahead and get it. But if you can wait until they get to about 20% off around, you know, 12 something, $13, I would wait till then. I just don't think the value is there for $16. You let me know if you feel differently. If you're watching this video, you probably like Lego Star Wars sets just like I do. Make sure you watch my video here of the 332nd Ahsoka Clone Trooper Battle Pack. Might with that breaking, I'm out.